All right, we're gonna start off this video by trying to show you how to cable or toe strap a four foot draft sailboat, thin keel, full keel, um, a taller sailboat into the water from the trailer on a uh, ramp. So you're gonna first off back down the ramp all the way to the water line where you can get around the back of the trailer. Then you're gonna make sure everything's secure in your trailer for underwater. Then you're gonna come here, you're gonna chalk the wheels. And then disconnect disconnect the truck from the trailer then you'll get you'll get in the truck Pull forward with the truck, then you take your toe strap, pull it out, Take your chain set up. Hook on. Hook on. Pull your train straight. Follow it right here. I do it differently. I fold my hitch down, but just for purposes, you're gonna put it right there on your ball hitch. Find some way to clasp it. Come back to the truck. Continue to drive forward, checking. All right, so you got it on the ball hitch. I, like I said, I fold this hitch underneath and then clasp this on. So it's got no way to move. So I suggested an adjustable hitch too, because if you don't have enough tongue weight, you won't be able, you'll have to reposition the trailer or the boat on the trailer later. So you come here, at that point, you have your rigging, looks like shit right now, cause you have your rigged up. 
Then you'll go down on the trailer. Use these little wheels right here will ride in. If you don't have them, you'll just scrape. Then you come back here, pull your chocks, and then make sure your straps off your boat. And that's how you do it. You cable it in and then you do the reverse process on your way back. So uh, you pull the trailer out with no boat and then you go ahead and just chalk the wheels again, take the strap off, uh, back the truck up and retrieve your trailer. So it's fairly simple. Things you need to know is back the boat down a little bit to the motors in, then get the motor into the water and get it started and then have your driver back you off once it's started because you can power off these trailers if you get stuck or wh whatever else and you also want to do your research and make sure uh, your ramp is not mud like 15 feet back where you'll uh, end up dropping the trailer off the back of the the, um, the ramp which is then you gotta swim back there and connect a, a rope to the back end or float it somehow but you can get it out so that's it man so just that's all you gotta do so you need i have a double chain set up right here and i always clasp in this area then it comes down to this and then i have a shackle here which goes to a 30 foot high-end toe strap which is for 26,000 pulling pounds which is way overkill and then right onto your hitch so if you don't have an adjustable hitch I would figure out some way to strap this down or to have like a safety strap so it doesn't pop off as you can see it can come off kind of easy so that's it and then you just put it all up